This is the most haunted place in Japan, and in my opinion, the most haunted place in the world. Okigahara Forest lies west of Tokyo. Last year, 45 Japanese traveled here from all over the country. We're gonna be doing a paranormal investigation. The crazy thing is, I already see light. Mostly here to uncover the myths and the legends of a dark entity that lures people in here. So it sounds like this is hell. I guess these flowers are for someone that passed away here. Yo, no f***ing way. There's rope. All right, maybe it doesn't want us to split up then. All right, I'm coming back. <laughs> Oh, that's actually like a tombstone. Yeah, there's carvings on it and writings. What's going on, Ronan family? And welcome back to the channel. If you're new on here, my name is Steve Ronan, and we go on Epic Adventures. And today, in the Japan series, I'm gonna be taking you guys deep into a Yokogihara forest. During the day, it looks like your average part to take a nice walk, but it's much more eerie than that. This is the most haunted place in Japan, and in my opinion, the most haunted place in the world. It dates back thousands of years ago. Through the half of the video, I'm gonna go over the history and the myths and the legends that surround this place. But I'm mostly here to uncover the myths and the legends of a dark entity that lures people in here and takes control of their thoughts. I'm gonna come back here at night with my friends and we're gonna do a paranormal investigation deep in the woods. No one really knows the origins of this dark entity. Some people say it dates back thousands of years ago when there was a practice of leaving old people astray in these woods. Others say there's a gates of hell here too. You will not get signal in here. If you try to use a compass, there's a strange magnetic field which disrupts it. There's definitely something mysterious in these woods. But anyway guys, before the video begins, I just wanna say rest in peace to all the people that passed away here. I have nothing but respect and I just want to document the history of this place and to give you guys my experience. The main purpose is to document the myths in these woods. So without further ado, make sure to smash the like button. Let me know where you're from in the comments below and enjoy the video. I'll see you guys at the very end. In the year 864, Mount Fuji erupted violently for six months, resulting in the burial of entire villages under a massive field of hardened lava. Over the course of millennium, a dense forest grew upon this lava field, casting its shadow on the snow-capped volcano. Officially known as Ayokigahara, but commonly referred to as Shokai, meaning the Sea of Trees, this forest became a popular hiking destination a few hours away from Tokyo in the Yamanashi Prefecture. However, not everyone ventured there for the fresh air and breathtaking views. Ayokigahara held a darker allure, for it had gained a dark reputation in being the most haunted forest in the world. In Japan, Mount Fuji and its surrounding forests, including Ayokigahara, are considered sacred spaces for more than a millennium. Aesthetic Buddhist monks would retreat to these forests to engage in extreme forms of self-denial and meditation According to a particular tradition, these monks would meditate in the forest for a thousand days, subsisting solely on leaves and bark. Afterward, they would willingly be buried alive to continue their meditation in underground crypts. Their ultimate aim was to transform their bodies into Sokushinbutsu, a type of mummy while still alive. Although 18 of these self-mummified monks' remains are displayed in parts of Japan, Scientists believe they were actually mummified after their deaths. Could this ancient form of ritual provided a model for contemporary Japanese individuals seeking to escape their modern lives by vanishing into the forest? Or is there a more direct connection? Ayokigahara's prominence in popular culture played a significant role in this association. In 1960, Japanese author Saicho Matsumoto published a short story called The Tower of Waves, revolving around star-crossed lovers separated by circumstances beyond their control. However, the book that truly propelled the Yokigahara Forest to fame was published in the 1990s. Author Wataru Surumi wrote a manual, an unadorned guide published exclusively in Japanese in 1933. Undoubtedly, the book generates significant controversy. 
It even included a section about a Yokogahara forest, describing it as a perfect place. Apart from the historical accounts and myths, it is believed that there exists a gate to hell and a demonic entity within the Yokogahara forest. According to Japanese popular belief, if someone is consumed by deep feelings of hatred, anger, sadness, or desire of revenge, their soul becomes trapped in this world and continues to wander. These souls, known as yurei, appear to those affected by the curse or who cross their path. Some Japanese spiritualists suggest that the trees and the haunted forest have absorbed malevolent energy over the course of centuries. This is my journey into the most haunted forest in the world. If I remember, if you go straight down, we'll be able to hit the no entry barrier. So I say we just keep walking down here. It's like this is new. I read online if they notice any suspicious activity, they would go and check it out. Logan Paul, when he first came here, he didn't even go deep in the woods. This is the same path he took, and right over there is when he found the person. Wow, look at this. I stumbled upon other YouTubers. What's your guys' names? Uh, I'm uh, Tev, ici Japon. Et le Grand JD in French. From yeah. Switzerland. Yeah, it's in French, our channel, so... Sorry, Switzerland, yeah. Switzerland! Yeah, check them out really quick. As you can see, this place is a hot spot for people documenting it. But it is absolutely beautiful in this forest. You guys probably thought it'd be like really creepy and spooky, but no. It's actually very serene right now. I separated from them. They're doing their thing, I'm doing my own thing. I'm not gonna go so deep. But like I said, I will come back here at night with my friends and we're gonna do a paranormal investigation to kind of get some answers and maybe try to communicate to the entity that lurks in here and lures people in. Wow. This is all molten lava right here. It's so crazy how it forms these shapes. Even the trees right there. They're not even in the ground. They have nowhere to sink their roots. So it just grows everywhere. Yeah, you'll never see an environment like this anywhere else in the world. We'll go off the unbeaten path really quick so we can take a better look. Like I said, we're walking on lots of molten lava right here. right there. I don't think you guys can see it. It made a beautiful cobweb. You'll find a lot of different vegetation and mushrooms. Look at that. A lot growing on that tree. Now you kind of want to stay away from the mushrooms in here because they tend to release spores and you don't want to breathe that in or inhale it. It can cause hallucinations. And there's been reports that some people stumble upon these mushrooms and they would just get lost because their mind wouldn't be thinking straight. Probably thinking, why the heck am I walking alone? Well, these woods feel very safe as long as you walk the trail. And I believe there's no animals in these woods. So, I should be okay exploring these woods alone.
So if you don't rent a car, you can actually take a bus or train here. And this is one of the bus stops to get off to. You'll immediately be right in front of Ayokigahara. I think the fastest way to get here is definitely by car, but it can be expensive. I will write it down in the description below this video if you're ever interested in visiting this forest. The entrance is crazy. It's literally a public park. Just because there's like a few caves here for sightseeing. The, the area you want to park though, if you ever want to explore our Yokogahara Forest, is the Wind Cave. Which opens from 9 a.m. to 17 o'clock, which is 5 p.m. You know, you would never expect an entrance like this to a forest. I mean, this building is a cafe. You can get some food or drinks. I wonder what the owners think. The ice cream looks pretty good too. It's past 5 p.m. So the park is closed, but you can still walk right in. Now, I did bring food and snacks before the hike but it's nice to know that there's vending machines here. The first time I came here, which was around 2016, I got here around like maybe 10 a.m. in the morning. And here's a map that you can find right next to the car parking. The Fuji 5 Lakes Guide map. Besides this forest, there's so much sightseeing you can do. There's lakes, there's caves, tunnels. I haven't done any of it, but I would like to one day. So I'm here with my friends too. We're parked right here. So strange how there's like these blue lights. I'm not sure what that does or what's the point of that. Uh, yeah, literally one of the only cars here. I'm not sure who could be parked there. Maybe they're also hiking the forest. Come on, boys. You guys ready? The crazy thing is I already see light coming through the woods. So there's people hiking here. A little bit strange. Do you guys see that? There's only one car here, so it could be them. What's going on, Dave? Yo, what's happening? You, got, you ready for this? Yeah. Yeah? It's a little bit... Um... It's a little bit different than what I normally do, but yeah, I think it'd be kind of cool, but also um, interest. Well, just very interesting, man. This is Japanese say the sea of trees. The sea of trees. We're gonna be swimming in there. It's a wet one tonight too. It's raining. What are you Hello, doing, guys. bro? Uh, not nervous, but a little worried about getting lost. Yeah. yeah. You know. I think we'll be okay. I hope so. We did it last time, we'll be fine. True. Oh, well, there's one of them. What's up, guys? All right, well, I guess those were the people. Now we're completely alone in the forest. So we just got the umbrellas in the car, and we're gonna head to the entrance of the no entry zone. This is pretty much available to the public. It's definitely a different vibe at night from a peaceful looking forest to a creepy haunted looking place. It's as if at night, all the dark stories come to life. Now you might be wondering if there's any animals in this forest and there's none which is good. We don't have to worry about wolves or bears. And it's because of how the ground is. It's not made of dirt, it's just all roots. And the reason why it looks like this is because hundreds of years ago, there was an eruption and this is the remains of the lava one lonely bench in the middle of the forest. We're just walking. I think it's about a 10 minute walk to find this entrance.
believe it's a crossroad. The lake is down that way. And then Fuketsu. I think that's more of the trail. It's over here. I can see the entrance. All right, so this is the entrance where it's closed off. It even says do not enter right there. We're ready for this though. Paranormal investigation inside a Yokigahara forest. We're heading inside now. Well, you don't want to come in, Dan. I want to come in. This is where horror films are The trail is about to close off pretty soon, and this is where most people will get lost. You know, this forest is so condensed that everything looks the same everywhere you go. It's exactly what I remember. So we're getting the fire ready right here. It's super rainy and damp, so it's pretty safe or 100% safe to make a fire in these woods in these conditions. Here we go, we have fire. All right, so this is really creepy, guys. We're here deep in a Yokogihara forest. Oh, that's a bird. You sure? That sounded like a bird, like a, ah, oh, like something like that. So everyone, we're here right now, deep inside a Yokogihara forest. We're gonna be doing a paranormal investigation. I'm here with, it's one with Josh, it's one with fighters. Yeah. We got abandoned world explorer. Got all this lovely little campfire. It's raining right now, but I believe it should stop in an please. hour or so. Please, <laughs> please stop raining. I keep hearing like stomping. I don't fucking know what that was. Yeah, there's a scream, dude. Yeah. yeah I know. Are you serious? My hearing's bad, bro. I know no, I've bad. heard it twice. That's why I don't want to stand out here somewhere over there. Somewhere over here? Yeah. All right, guys, so we're, we just heard a scream during the, I heard something. What is that? What? The banging. Hey? That banging then. Energy. Konnichiwa? What was that? I don't know, I thought I heard someone talk back. I thought that was a reply back. I, heard, I thought that was a reply back. Konnichiwa! Just a girl. You heard that? Yeah. You heard it, right? What'd they say? I just what heard a girl like? moaning talk. Yeah, that's what I heard, right? It's in there. Konnichiwa! Already, we might have heard a voice, and so we're gonna go in a little bit. Paranormal or not, we have to make sure whoever made that noise is okay. Wait. Look at this. There's a piece of clothing right here. Someone's glove. And there's the other piece of glove right there. Konnichiwa! Our campsite. I really want to figure out and make sure that we're the only ones here. Yo, don't go too far. <laughs> There's no one here, man. Maybe we stick together. Yeah. Let's stick together because everything looks the same. It would be pretty bad getting lost in here. But yeah, there's no sign of there's no sign of people right now. Weird dude. I guess we should head back. Alright, well. We're waiting for the rain to die down. It's starting to die down at the moment. Our fire is starting to... Oh, well, Dan oh, just brought it back to life. It's burnt. It's <laughs> oh, oh, I didn't realize. Uh, <laughs> I thought you were going to throw your bag in the fire. Oh, I'm trying to... <laughs> we're now heading in. I'm ready to go deep inside. Well, the rain completely stopped now. And we're heading deep into the woods. No more trail to help us. Now that the rain stopped, it's just eerily quiet. We can hear everything in this woods. Look at this. Found a little cave. You know, sometimes you have to be careful walking through here. Everything we're walking on is roots right now. You hear that? Yeah. What? I heard it again. It's like, ooh. I don't think there's wolves here. The f was that? Yeah. There's a wolves here. 
I don't think so. No, I don't know. Dude, we are deep in the goddamn forest. That sounded like a wolf call. You think so? Yeah, it did. I'm a little bit concerned about the wolves. Yeah, me too. I read online there shouldn't be animals here. The environment is not really meant for them. Well, then that makes it even more weird now. Now, why are we hearing animals when they shouldn't be none? And that's true, though. Animals can't really survive in this stuff. So that makes it more mysterious. Well, maybe it's ghost activity. So maybe we should do something here. Yeah, no, have we, we have, have we ever read that there's wolves here, though? I thought there was no wolves in Japan. Oh, I don't think there's any wolves. Well, I, I mean, we just heard oh, yeah, something. that's true, actually. Brown bears, black bears, boars, snake spiders, but didn't say anything about wolves. Boars couldn't even live here. Anything does approach. Hey, that was wolf, crazy. Bear, do not run. Scream as loud as you can. Stick, Stick together, it. man. Whack it with the fucking tripods. Look at this. This tree is crazy. All right, everyone. Dang, it's so difficult to maneuver around here because of the ground, but we just pretty much set up everything. We got a REM pod. We have a blue thing right there. It's a tri- it's a- What is actually, that, Josh? Uh, I even forget what to call it now. It's cold. Well, what does it do? It detects both sides, left and right, if someone walks by. Okay. Alright, recording again. And those are pretty much the main ones. And we're gonna do- are we gonna do an EVP session right EVP now? EVP everything. Okay. Let's get it, guys. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Also, if you happen to notice anything during this session, leave a comment down below and put a timestamp on it. Konnichiwa. My name is Steve. If you're here, we mean no harm, and you're welcome to come join us. Konnichiwa, my name is Josh and I'm here to talk to you. Konnichiwa, my name is Dan. I mean, you're no harm, but we would love to talk to you. Konnichiwa, I'm David. And again, I'll bring you no harm. You might be a little bit confused as to what some of these items are. So, Steve, if you touch that, just go near it a little bit. This one here on the tree will not harm you. It will just make a noise and flash some lights. I know you. <gasps> I know you. Who? Just said I know you. You two have been before. I'm going to leave this right here for everyone to hear and see. Oh, well, uh, also, this little device here will detect if you walk past it. Again, it will not harm you. This one here will play a nice musical sound if you walk in front of it. Again, will not harm you at all. Uh, we also have a little ball here that will flash. It won't make a noise. So if you want something that won't make a noise, you can touch that. It'll just flash a light. Could you tell us who you know? I was wealthy. Oh, Pepper! Pepper's going off. How do we know we didn't? They didn't lose their wealth, and that's why they come here. Yeah. Oh yeah, because he said I was wealthy. I was. Yes, very true. Could have lost everything. I was religious. I was, I was religious. religious. I was wealthy. It's us. It's, it's us. us. It's us. I don't understand. Are you here with more people? Did you come here not alone? Was you a couple? Strangled. Strangled? Strangled. It's been you annoyed. should dig here. <gasps> you should dig oh, here. Oh my god. Dig where? Dig He's here. Literally said right here. To and dig. this is when we're hearing the voices. Yeah. It's just insane it's though. There's no way of digging here. You can't really dig. Unless it's like it's underneath that. the logs and stuff. Unless the trees have grown over the body. Maybe That's it's the, the cave. <gasps> fuck. Again. Oh. oh fuck. Well, what the hell? Right, Steve, Whoa. step away from that just, just so we can clarify that. He's Holy I mean, that happened once I said the crevice. Should we check the crevice? And it said that? And it just started going off immediately. That could be the signs. Should we go inside there? Should we look inside? Can you touch the red pot again? If you want us to go check the crevice. Lie. Lie. But it's L-I-E, L -I -E, but lie. I think... I've been watching you. Who are you? Okay, tell me this, was, was you once human? That's crazy, mate. Honestly. Man, this is like really accurate responses we're getting right now. Very accurate to the, Very, to the questions. And exactly. Everything. As soon as Steve said about check there. I don't yeah, I'm gonna check the crevice really quick. Leave this place. Leave this place. As soon as you start going near that, Steve, leave this place. Why should we leave? Honestly, guys, I'm gonna check the crevice right now. Something tells me like, whatever is here wants me to go look. Rempod. Rempod, as you get closer. 
Wow, the red pot's going off. As you're getting in there, we might have to drop a DM60 in there. What are you inside here One at one point? I have no regrets. I have no regrets. <sighs> yeah. How many other people are here with you? How many other people are in the forest? Can you tell me a number? You hear that? What the fuck is that? Strangled. Again! Again. Bro, that was a weird voice because it sounded like from there and then just circled around us. But it just said strangled again as well. This could be a different Double? person now. Like, strangled again? Just Can you tell us if there's an evil entity here that's not from this world? Was it the footstep behind? No, no. Yo. Oh, is that just mist? Like, what's the smoke thing? It's a lot of mist in here. Probably from the hard rain we had. Oh, yeah, it's just uh, the vapor or something, maybe? Probably not in the fire. Right. Holly. Holly. <gasps> music box. Holly, the music box. Is your name Holly? No, you oh. might be setting off, bro. You might be setting off. Why? Because I was over there and I moved. Yeah, exactly. You're moving in front of it. No, I'm not. Because it went off when I was here. No, I don't know why it's going You can check the Well, guys, I'm not seeing anything. Yep, I, oh, I'm feeling it. We need I the ground. Cave! It just said cave. It literally said cave. Oh, it's, 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 Dude, there must be something below here. It's there. Let's put the DR60 in there, bro. Forest. It's literally describing the entire forest. Cave. Stream. 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 Water stream? Or. Oh. Well, you know what? There is like a lake is that the music box? There uh, is now. down here in the forest. Okay, we're adding another device. No, I love between. between, he said. Between, but like I'm putting it literally between the cave. Yeah. I just heard it. All right. So we'll ask questions, but we gotta be really quiet. So this is the infamous DR60. It's a voice recorder. Oh, the batteries are dead. Literally. Do you have new batteries? Yes, I do. Could be draining the energy out yes, of it. Yes, that's what I'm thinking. Is the dark energy, the dark spirit. Here with us right now. How many of you are here with us? Why did you ask us to leave? There we go. Help. Watch. Help. Seven? Yeah. Why did you ask us to leave? Is this land cursed? It you said that? yes, yeah, Clear I heard day. that. The whole thing was telling us to go to the cave all along. From the fire, the scream in the woods. Mm -hmm. It all so came from this direction. Jeez, yes. guys. I've never seen anything like that before where everything is crystal clear and just multiple answers answering all our questions all together. Right, Let's right. do another one and because ask there was the a straight. Lot of, there was a lot of vocals in there that we couldn't pick up. Like, there was a lot of people trying to talk yeah, at once. Of course. Does the dark energy inside the forest have a name? Bad entities here. Oh, <gasps> no way. Straight away. Bad entities. Are you mad that we're here? To the bad entities, how long have you been inside this forest? Can you give us a name of the seven that you said that was here? Was it a djinn that cursed this land? So that I'll affect the lights. Let's Bro, see. That might, they might drain our lights. Round two. Here we go, guys. Ready? Yes. So the bad entity. How long have you been inside this forest? Can you give us 
There's a lot there we could not make it out that time. Is, it sounds yeah. like a lot of it isn't close to that. It's like they jumped and moved. It's not just me here. <gasps> it's not just me it's here. Not just, how can you, how can you, you know what I mean? Like, come on. It's on point. I All truly right. believe there's definitely a lot of spirits surrounding yeah. us right now. There could be watching us all above us. Wait, what's that? It's raining again. It's a little bit of rain. Two. Good spirits here. We can be I'm here all the time. I'm, I'm protecting, protecting you. you. They said there's good spirits here and there's evil entities. Arigato guzaimas. Can you tell me what is cursing this land? Was you feeling sad and something lured you in here? Can you tell us the name of the evil entities? Can you tell us what made you come here? Where are my ashes? Where are my ashes? Can you tell me what is cursing this land? So it sounds like this is hell. This, oh. Hang on, let's, let me... This is hell, right? This is hell. You just say that. Super clear. Whoa. It definitely said a name. You said quite a few. I don't go back. It almost sounds like Beelzebub. <laughs> Bro, okay. I really did think it said a name, but it's hard to like well, pick up what it's like. I don't know, it's all muffled kind of. Yeah, so I'm gonna enhance this for you guys. Definitely leave a comment down below what you think it could have replied back. Super clear. Whoa. Really good start though. And it did say this is hell. That was good ears when you heard that. Yeah, and it makes kind of sense because I did read online that like, uh, there's maybe some sort of, what's it called? Uh, a portal here? Um, same as like the Bermuda Triangle. All right, everyone, so we're packing. We're moving on to a different location. We're gonna start heading deeper into the forest and try to figure out more answers to what entity could be staying here. So far, we got answers kind of telling us that there's something here, that this land is cursed. All right, everyone, so we're switching to red light. Except for Dave, Dave doesn't have red light. It's all right, Dave. Yeah, it's okay. Well, just to show you guys, this place has no signal at all. You can see here, you can see here on my phone, I mean it says 3G, but that's not gonna do anything and there's only one bar. So as we're walking deep into the woods, check this out. It's a marking left behind from someone, probably an explorer to figure out their way back. But this is good, we just gotta remember the X. X if we're, marks if we're, the spot. Yep, X marks the spot if we're, ever, if we're ever lost. Okay, check this out. First sign up string. This is the part where you could probably get really lost in here. We're pretty deep now. We're gonna follow the string. I wonder how new that is. Could be like recent. It's going deep. Yeah, it's very hard to walk in this forest. We're just walking on a bunch of overgrown tree roots right now. And it's really slippery because it's all wet. This is really crazy guys. My flashlight is super powerful, but now that we're so deep in the woods, the landscape is just so wide and open that my light looks so less powerful. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, let me change up the ISO really quick. All right, here's my beam. This light, it does, it's not even handling this area of the woods anymore. But we're still following the white string. We have to keep an eye on that. If we 
<laughs> if we get off the track of the string, we can definitely get lost. We'll be in trouble. Yeah. That is actually could be true. All right, everyone. So this is the end of the string. It just stops right here. Maybe at one point someone's camping here. But I think we're going to head back to where, the, to where the string first started. Get that on camera too. That was the biggest Something thing fell. the whole thing. Konnichiwa! Look, there's a, a tag right here. What is that? It's a, like a tape tag or whatever. Just a marking. Someone pinned it. Yeah. Should we head there, that direction? I think so. Let's go. Konnichiwa! Came from here. All right, well we have the tag over there, so. Yeah, we'll yeah let's, let's not try to lose it. <laughs> Yo, no way. What? Guys, there's rope. Huh? No. Yeah, there's a rope. Right where the bang, maybe? You see that? We could be near something. Is anyone here? All right, guys, I'm seeing something. What? I'm seeing something like a... What do you see? Food. Someone was camping here, guys. And someone's shirt is here. What? Someone's what? Someone's shirt. And like a bottle of drinks. So now we found this, we found the ropes. Strange that they would leave a shirt here. All right, literally lost right now. Actually, no, the rope is right there. So now we go this way. What, this rope? Oh, okay, that rope. Yeah, okay. Oh, where's that yellow marking? Right there. Okay, yeah, good. we're fine now. We're kind of being smart here since we didn't bring any safety gear like tape or rope to mark where we're going. So we're staying a little bit close to the path. We started to just walk deeper and deeper and look at this. It's a bouquet of flowers. I guess these flowers are for someone that passed away here. Oh wow, it's pretty fresh too. It's like new, hasn't been here for a long time. Rest in peace to whoever passed away here. Yo, that's really like a, a tombstone. Yo, no, that's actually like a tombstone. Yeah, there's carvings on it and writings. Show me can't translate it. I wow. think. The first time I came here, I never saw that. No, I've never seen this first time. It must Sorry. have been placed here from like. See, you bright lights off it. If I go any less, I'm done. No, no, watch. I could see it when I did no, that. Yeah, oh! No. Yeah, translate that for me, guys, in the comments. We're gonna do an investigation right here next to this tombstone. All right, guys, so pretty much we're doing the same thing as the first time. We set up every equipment that we have that you guys saw before. Nothing really Music new. Music box is going off. Ooh. It was just going off. You want to play with the other devices we have here? Feel free to walk in front of it too, or try touching it. <gasps> I got that guzimas. Try to play with everything. You have to be, I, I said it so it's minimal. You have to get really close, like a foot next to it. Yeah, you see? All right, okay, good. It's legit. Good, I'm just making sure, because you know, we're going to get people in the comments. Yeah, I know, I know. I just know my minute. devices, yeah, that's yeah. why. But I should... Now, we're saying that we're protected. Can you give us a sign if you're still following us from the beginning? Are we protected? Oh. It's right there. We're being followed by someone really good, I think, Steve. Yeah, I think so, too. Which is good, but is there someone evil here? Is that why you're protecting us? Yes. It definitely is because think about it. I think the, the well, main, that just settled it. The path would be one of the worst places because it would constantly keep an eye on who is walking in, who is feeling upset, who is feeling depressed, and prey on those people. Right. Is that true? Can you make the music back go off? If that's true? Or if that's true, can you make this little ball here light up? If you can touch that, then we know it's true. I really beg of you, if you could touch that, that would be brilliant. Well, if there's an evil entity here, I feel like it's trying its hardest for them not to say anything, yeah, like give us answers. Every time we bring the evilness up, that's going off. Yeah. There, there definitely is something evil. Yeah. Did something lure you in here? Or did you come here out of your own choice? Do you need help from us? All right, so let's take out the, the EVP and ask, what's your name? Yeah, take it out. Can you come right up to me and tell me your name, please? So I can understand who we're talking to. Can the evil entity please step forward and announce your presence? Are we in danger? 
Is there a portal to the other side in this forest? Scream, yes or no. Are you the same one that let, spoke to us earlier? Okay. The hey, anticipation to that. could be wild here. I felt like I couldn't speak either. It was a bit weird, huh? I don't know, honestly, it was like, I just- Yeah, I couldn't. saw your face, man. You were just like, like having trouble. I couldn't even, I don't even, I don't know. It's like, I was just, yeah. Like you had dazed out. couldn't do nothing, I don't know. It's weird. It was weird. I'm and not even, like, I, yeah. I'm not even kidding. It was like something really weird. Like, I just couldn't speak. And like to, you be, to, to be honest with us, I've been having like a headache. Since for you've the been past, like 10 minutes. But I don't know if it's the forest or just the bright lights sometimes when we're using true, our flashlights. True, But yeah, just something to mention. No, it is. Yes. Yeah, you heard that. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, that was yes. That was so yes. I couldn't hear anything or make out anything, but there were voices, but I heard yes so at the end. So you think it's followed us in? Uh, I think the same, whoever's protecting us, it, or whatever, is yes. That's followed yeah. us. Hmm. Weird. You want to try to capture the spirit with an SLS. Like, actually, like, who's with us? Like, show him. We should use show an SLS. Her. Do I? Yeah. Wow. Take us just a moment. I didn't even know you brought the SLS. Yeah, he has an SLS to capture. Wait, what, what is an SLS? <laughs> SLS. Obviously, I know what SLS means, but what is it? Not an SLS. Oh, SLS. Yeah, SLS camera is it basically just, it maps out people, so it sends out signals. And so, for example, when, when you're stood here, it'll show a skeletal frame. Ooh, okay. And then, you know, so we can then, uh, you know, identify people or spirits via the skeletal frames when they come. What is that? Rampod. Oh shit. Oh. Uh, well to be fair, we could just I was close to it. Yeah. But either oh. but no I'm not close now. But I think it wants to be mapped though. It might work. Yeah no we're it just... is. Touch it a little bit more if you want me to get the camera out so, so we, we can, can see you. It might work. Yeah we're no we're it is. Touch it a little bit more if you want me to get the camera out so, so we, we can, can see you. There we oh, go. Oh, sh there we go, boys. Oh, oh, sh oh geez. Geez. What does the colors mean? Closer. That means they get closer. They're touching it. Like they're right on it. Next one is oh, oh, closer. That's the, that's the hardest around. one. Guys, we'll no, red flashing is the hardest one. As well. Right, if you could let go, please. That'd be brilliant. If you could let go. <gasps> it, it's red. It's on that's it. It's close. It will. <gasps> Whoa. I've Wait never a minute. seen anything like that happen. <gasps> ever. Get the. I don't know. What? Get the SLS out. This is the second time that's happened. Whatever it is, it's just drained the complete power. That was a brand new damn battery from Lawson. Oh, it just died? Yeah. Wait, it that's dead? Yeah. That is straight, it's just dead, it's, just it's drained it. Well guys, crazy activity here yet again. You know, I've done a handful of ghost investigations and explored a lot of haunted places, but this has completely Maybe even more or less of a skeptic. We're gonna use the SLS if you don't know what that is. Basically, it's just something that detects or can detect a spirit in live in a, in a view monitor. It's one of my favorite ghost equipment. But I hope you guys have been enjoying this video so far. If you have, definitely smash the like button and definitely leave your comments down below. What's going on, Dan? Oh, what's that SLS? You, you say you got a thingy. This is draining now. Have you that's got a, draining. Have you got a power bank? Yeah, but I need. Charge this. Wait, that's not that's not working now. It was hundred percent, bro. It's two percent. I charged that at seventy before I left the house. <laughs> exactly. I got it to seventy. I remember I did. <laughs> Something here is definitely so powerful, it's draining all the batteries. And I remember during the first session we had, something said that was draining the lights. I'll affect the lights. It said I'll affect the lights. Let's bro, see. that might they might drain our lights. It could have been meaning it's draining the energy from everything we have. We, you know, we were so prepared this day with our equipment. We made sure to charge everything to 100%. So we're just testing the SLS right now. 
turn off all the lights because it was kind of interfering with it. You want me to come behind you? Gonna follow Dan from behind. We're gonna walk around, see what catch, see what we can capture with SLS. Okay, so I've got a device out here that can detect you, but all I need you to do is stand in front. If you can stand in front, we'll be able to see you. That's that going off. So, oh, oh, I just seen bro. It just showed a figure. I have it on my. Oh, I saw got, that. It's got a small figure stood stood here. Right, right now, here, right, right in next front to the of grave, us? bro. Right next to the grave. Yep. It could be just detecting the grave, though. Can you please come and stand in front of us? If you're here, still protecting us, can you stand right next to me? Maybe hold my hand. Maybe not. Well, that's how. Well, that's good to to, to know. Oh, so it only detects one person? Could you help lead us down this path? Can you stay in front of us and walk down? Oh, I saw Bro, something. There's someone upside down, man. Okay. There's someone there, it was small. Just though. detected something. Maybe it looked small, but that's yeah. downhill. Oh, yeah. So that's just like, that could still be a five foot, you know. Nah. It's uh, moving as well. It's moving. You think so? Yeah, because it was stood. Look, see? There it goes. It's standing, standing behind that tree now. Or. Look, you don't, you don't yep. think it could be the tree. It's, move, it's moving, bro. It was on this side. Is this a recording, by the way? And I've kept still. Can you please come forward? See? Yep. It's staying there. there. Could you move somewhere else? Can you come closer to us, please? Oh, that, that, was, no, that was closer. Well, this is going off again. Can you show yourself now? Are you right there in front of me? Oh, this went red. Oh, oh, Do you want me to go down this way? Yo, this is going off like crazy right here. Might be is it trying to warn us because we're leaving? Does the light not affect it? Could be my light. Look how, look how misty it's gone, look, Steve. Look at them. Yeah. Yo, it's still going off even without my light. Dude, but you notice how their thing's going off? And it's also beating oh, us? Oh, 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 Fuck, I just caught it running down there. No, we got it on video. We got your video on this. Oh shit. Hold on. Yo, you saved it. But as Yo, that's this, beeping, and I'm not even pointing my light at it. That's what I mean, as this is happening. So that I think that is legit. On. The triangle. Yeah, I asked it if it wants me to go straight down there, and it started going crazy. I think it wants us to not be together. I think so too. So Dan just caught something run across the SLS. Yeah, that, that could be the person protecting us, trying to so make us- say no, don't get off, don't get off. Yeah, exactly. Maybe it's telling us to not follow whatever the SLS saw. You want us to go straight ahead? Go a little further, just a little bit right there, and then aim up. Okay, we will start to move out of here. Yeah, because that's weird how we're not being able to see him, or her. And now it's, now it's on this side! Unless it's just on a different spectrum where we can't pick it up. Could be something we can't describe. I think it really wants us to just go down that way. Well, because it did go red and green, I do believe that. Yeah. It detected both sides of the triangle. Yep. If you can make the red light come on again, then I 100% know it's you and we'll, we'll head back down the path we came. Away from the negativity. Green. Not red though. Make the other side go off. The red. Show us the red color. Oh, it's did, red. Just do it. Just did it, yep. right? Just did it. Yeah, it's red. And what'd you say? Okay, guys. So I really, really believe there must be a guardian angel watching us or a very good spirit trying to protect us. There's just too much evidence. So we're going to head back down the path and go from there. But what an unbelievable investigation in this spot right next to the tomb. Leave a comment down below. Tell me which part was the craziest. You really want me to go down there? Yeah, we're
Uh, okay, I'll go down. I kind of want to separate from the group a little bit. I just have this feeling that it wants me to go down here. It is getting super misty. So guys, I just want to show you. I just looked up with my flashlight and wow, you can't even see the sky at all. Not even an inch. But look at this. You know, there's signs of food. It's like part of a, a canned meal. Yo, I'm over here. They're probably telling you guys to hurry up. No, no. We both split up, bro, and now it's going crazy. We're, they're literally guarding us. All right, maybe it doesn't want us to split up then. All right, I'm coming back. <laughs> All right, I'm back now. Oh, wait, wait, come back. Don't go near it. So you want us to stay together? If you can stop making it a noise, then we know we've got to stay together on the path. What are you trying to tell us? Well, it's a lot more misty now. Yeah, isn't it? I think it wants us to like just hurry up and get out of here together. It might be a warning that some bots coming with us. As soon as we split up. Oh, imagine that. As soon as we split up. It yeah. Really just told us. Wait, wait. No, I'm still freaking out. Let's just pack and get ready to go. Let's pack. Oh, All right, we're go we're going, we're going. We're gonna head up. And we're going together. So as soon as we said we're going. Oh. Stopped. Oh, Steve. Dude. Dude. <laughs> As soon as we both split, I didn't know you split up either. Yeah, Steve. I split up. Do you want us to leave? One more flash. Uh, we're leaving now. It just doesn't want us to stay here. Yeah. It doesn't want to stay. Just get yeah, packing, anyway. boys. <laughs> it really is insane. We've been guarded this whole time. Whoa, okay. All right. That wasn't even us. It was. We made it, guys. I heard Dave. We're here. Josh oh, We made it safe. The first time. We're back here at the no entry zone. <sighs> what a journey that was. Woo! We made it out oh, safe and sound. Yes. Good job, We're guys. <sighs> the forest didn't take us today. That the was forest insane. let us go. It did. No, someone was protecting us for sure. 100%. Yeah. I wonder if we went. Up there a bit, just have a little look. It goes that around. To a cave and stuff, natural. Well, finally made it to the car. <sighs> now made it out, safe and sound. I'm really tired, I'm really beat. I don't even know what to say at the moment, so I'm just gonna see you guys at my Airbnb. Yo, how was that, bro? Honestly, think, man? I really truly do believe that we were like, being guided and, and protected. 100%. And it weird, at the very like end, when I split up and you split up, that thing went insane. Yeah, it was like, no, don't go, don't go, don't leave, those don't separate. Those coincidences are how I know like ghosts are legit. You know what I mean? It's those things I'm like, come on. Yep. How perfect was that? Listen, you know, I'm a skeptic, but yeah. dude, that made me so much less of a skeptic. Well, what about the DR, the DR60 saying yes and no? Is that yeah, the really DR60, that was the most accurate responses I've heard from yeah. the DR60 myself. Yep. So. Yeah, I really do that believe nice. this place is haunted. There's something about it for sure. Yeah, just some type of negative entity is in there. Or maybe it's like there's a gate of hell there. Well, yeah, you said it. What was it you that said? There, is there hell or something? It said, or, or no, uh, you heard it first. Yeah, I heard it first. It said something about there is hell or this is this hell. This is hell. And you yeah. heard it, yeah. But, I mean, that's accurate. Everything, Every response we got was pretty accurate to the stories and rumors online about yeah. this place. So... I am pretty mind blown. Dave, what do you think, man? Uh, definitely interesting, bro. Oh, to see the response we had. Yeah. You know, obviously I'm new to all this stuff, so but it was clear as day, bro, what we heard on that thing. Yeah. Um, Are you gonna do more haunted? I'd like to. Yeah. But I need people like to. I think I think after well. this first first big experience with one of the most haunted places in the world i think you're ready for anything now yeah definitely <laughs> yeah it's uh should change your name yeah. haunted world explorer <laughs> hwe hwe <laughs>
What's up, Ruin Fam, and thank you so much for making it to the very end of the video. Now, this outro is kind of a couple months late. I filmed this video about maybe a month and a half ago or two months ago. And that's why you can see that I have a little mustache and beard going on. But this is only because my shaver broke and I've just been too lazy to go find like a new shaver. <laughs> but enough about that. What a crazy exploration and paranormal investigation this was. Uh, and it was a lot of fun with my friends. Shout out to them, Josh, Dan, and Dave. I miss you guys, and it was one of the most memorable trips I've ever had. If you did enjoy the Japan series, we still got a lot more in store, so don't you worry. But if you want me to film more haunted videos, definitely leave a comment down below. I've been enjoying them a lot, and I think it's refreshing for this channel to experience haunted videos in it. But of course, I will stick to my strengths, and that is exploration videos no matter what. Anyway, I cannot believe the amount of evidence that my friends and I caught inside a Yokogihara forest. Let me know down in the comments below which was the most shocking evidence to you. I think for me, it's like all of it. It's just so crazy how like accurate and how quick the responses were. It's almost like I was having a direct conversation to a ghost or a spirit. And after going through that experience, I will say that I truly believe a Yokogihara forest is haunted 100% and there's definitely something there. I mean, when you're walking inside there, it feels like you're in a whole nother world. I've never been inside a forest where it just feels really, how do I even describe it? Magical and powerful. I guess the key word to say is spiritual. It feels like a very spiritual place. And before I end the video, I just wanna give a message to all my fans and viewers and the people watching this video because some of you guys might be going because some of you guys might be going through something very tough right now or maybe you're sad or depressed as for myself I consider myself a very happy person not to say that I don't have my bad days I think I understand that in life it's not always sunshine and rainbows there's always going to be down times Life is like a crazy roller coaster where you go up and down, up and down, up and down. And I think I just accepted that. You know, there's moments in my life where I go through something very hard, very sad, even very depressing. And when I do have those days when I'm sad, depressed, unhappy, I just understand that it's normal. It's a part of life. And without those things, how can we grow as a person? And you cannot appreciate happiness without the low moments in your life. So if you're going through a rough time, honestly, take it as a blessing. But don't dwell on it because dwelling on it is very unhealthy. That's all I have to say. I think I have a duty to all my fans and viewers out there to put out a positive message and to help every single one of you guys if you're ever struggling or if you need someone to listen, just reach out to me anytime. But yet again, guys, thank you all for the support. I would appreciate if you guys shared and liked this video and comment down below your thoughts about this exploration. And until next time, guys, don't forget to live a life of freedom and wonder. Peace and thanks for watching.